I suppose it was quite a free time. I mean, if you didn't want to work, you didn't have to. If you didn't want to pay rent, you didn't have to. I mean, the Blue House was a great example of people creating a space from a building that just hadn't for years and making something creative there. <laughs> I came to England by chance. My parents sent me off to visit my aunt in Portsmouth. But when I arrived at Victoria Station, I instantly got caught by London's atmosphere and loved it. One day I had this idea that in Hackney, where I lived by then, a place like this youth centre would be great for people to meet and be creative. At the time, the area of Hackney was really awful, nothing. There wasn't anywhere to go or anything going on. Boarded up flat, it was pretty scary and horrible. I walked around Hackney and spotted Sutton House. Windows shut with wood, definitely empty and derelict. Big house, so yeah, a place for my idea. I love the house instantly. It was the 11th of April 1985. I read somewhere that it was the first gig there. Whether it was or whether it wasn't, I don't really know. I should think someone just burned us off and asked us to play. They put on a lot of gigs, of all sorts of different things, because anybody could do anything. That was the thing that was great about it. It was really just anything goes, anyone who was up for it. Next, we got into action to do as much as possibly to stay in this house. Buildings are for being lived in. Which I call the blue house. Buildings are for being lived in. We collected signatures of neighbours for supporting our stay. in contact with the National Trust, collected reasons for why it was better to have us in there instead of the place remaining empty and falling down more. I would say that buildings are for being lived in. Most squatters are in just ordinary people who can't afford to rent anywhere. The neighbours are generally really pleased to live in a house next to a house that was occupied rather than in a house that was empty for years and years. People don't want to live next to empty buildings, they want to live in a street that's occupied. I suppose it's hard to imagine now, but that's what it was like at the time. I visited a few years ago, about 10 years ago. I think it's nice they acknowledge the squad as part of the history. I think it was great that it was saved, 
that it's being preserved. Hi, my name is Leila. My name is Cleo Zimi. My name is Victoria. My name is Dorothea. My name is Osama. Faithful. Felicia. Lola. Hi, my name is Lariana. Where I live, it's a lot of traffic. I live in one bedroom flat. Where I live is for the Frondan Estates. I live near the river. There's lots of air pollution, noise pollution and traffic. I live in a house with a green roof. Where I live, there are a lot of wandering cats. I live near a beautiful park. From my window, I can see Wembley Stadium. From my bedroom window, I can see the door to my neighbor's flat. I can see a communal garden. From my bedroom window, I can see a park. I can see Serpanka Station and King's Cross Station. But I can see the train. From my bedroom, I can see a farm. From my bedroom window, I can see the birch trees. Mainly, I can see trees, um, animals, etc. To me, home is comfort. To me, home is wherever I feel comfortable. To me, home is where the people I love are. To me, home is somewhere I feel safe and comfortable, and anywhere really, I think a home can be. To me, home is Friday night telling. To me, home is somewhere where I feel happy and I can be myself. To me, home is family. To me, home is the place where I can feel free to do whatever I want. I don't know if I can swipe. Okay. I look. Oh. <laughs>